Kevin left up, so if I remember right, yeah. Left up for it. That for me, that was that was sort of the beginning of the end there. I mean Kevin was so brave getting up and Ooh. that was a big shot. No one has done that to Kevin Mitchell before, I think I'm running saying. I'm That's what he said. No, and I know what that you is. Know, in all fairness, you know, Kevin, even well, if he thought he could be stopped, it would have been on his feet and he wouldn't have even thought that. He was dropped clean, that was a good shot. He was gone. When he went down, he was gone. And when Terry O'Connor touches him, he nearly knocks him over. That's how gone he is. It's a miracle he survives the next. No, not, not at all. Okay. Because, because he carries on, he fights, and he's just about starting to regain his senses when he gets dropped again. So, so much, so much pride he had here tonight, uh, Kevin Mitchell, didn't he? I mean, he was so keen to take the title down there. He was going to give everything out. He's certainly going to have it. So let's have a look at the second knockdown, yeah. shall we? Give us your views of that one, Anthony. Right, he said he was trying to figure the right hand that set it off again. The right hand set it off again, and then he, he was what he was doing, Rick. I noticed every time going back to the road. Ricky was bringing the right hook in as well, trying to catch Kevin Eye, and as soon as he landed that right hand then, yet there he is now, throwing back round eye for Kevin. Like I said, it all started from the first knockdown, and Kevin struggled to get, you know, to get his senses back from there, really. We, we made the point, Steve, all the way since we've been standing here at the 7 o'clock, just how strong this guy looks at 9 stone. I don't know yeah, what he plays when he goes in there, he's right with man. He just so big and so strong. You know, he almost looked like a different weight out there. And he, and he did look like a different weight, and we knew he wouldn't Burns look like versus a different DeMarco weight. Burns versus Bruno. 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 I couldn't believe how quickly he covered the ground. And that was the thing. First round, Kevin was faster with his jab. Ricky yeah, was struggling. Well, that bloke clicked and walked the first round. And then suddenly, in the second round, he adjusted his feet, Ricky. He was that much closer, that bit closer, forcing Kevin to abandon his plans and have a fight. Beautiful. Game over. Let's have a look at, at the final moments when referee Terry O'Connor decided that Kevin had had enough. He looked there, yeah, Kevin was, you know, he was, he was brave, he was still trying to fight back, but he just, he just hadn't recovered from, you know, from the first knockdown and around the second one. And there's, there's the right hook again, what Ricky was bringing every time he backed up onto the ropes. That was his shot. Now, yeah, referee done the right but thing, I think, mate. like, it was just, I know, Kevin after it there, he was so, yeah, like, brutally yeah, honest, the right and, you know, credit's got to go to him, you know, what... What a sportsman. And just a great, great night as well for Ricky Burns, the biggest crowd he's ever fought in front of, and he gave them full, full value for money tonight. He gave yeah. them full value for money, and I think we need to stop now, and you know, John was right, and Smigger was right, I think we need to start now start mentioning, well up there with Harrison, moving his way closer to what You can remember, never had a world title fight in Scotland, all of his win, Puerto Rico or New York. Okay, he's had some great wins. Paulus Moses looked like an easy one, it was a hard win. When he, Roman Martinez, he was the underdog, he was meant to lose, it was Martinez's pitch stop on his way to Vegas, down in the first round, came back to dominate, and then of course the big win, Cat Seedis, underdog, boxing lesson. Ricky, and then to Kevin Mitchell tonight, he's gone toe to toe with a banger and done him. Let's give him some proper credit, and I mean real credit, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we'll, 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 we'll ask where does Kevin Mitchell go from here.